is going on guys? These are not my glasses, they're actually Jordan's. So I'm gonna set these aside, she's gonna be mad. So guys, welcome back to a new video. I thought I would do this one a little bit different, kind of like a story time, full day of eating style. So, this is actually what I eat normally when you guys don't see me feasting down calories and all this good stuff. I want to break this down. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this kind of like story content, kind of whatever. Um, but I'll break you guys through down what I did. Most of the stuff I did eat was on the go. We actually ended up starting off the day at Chick-fil-A. I had this uh, English muffin with the sausage, I think, and eggs. I, I really can't tell you. I, can't, I don't really remember what was in it. But um, I did post the calories in it, so you guys will get to see that. So, and then we end up working out and going and hitting some chest. zoomed in on my butt too on there but uh after that we did our well i ended up going to chipotle because i was screaming chipotle chipotle sounded so i mean i wanted to show you guys these healthy nachos it's like a multi-grain tortilla chips that i got from walmart and bada bing bada boom if you want to get some like great tasting low calorie nachos again these chips they fit in my carbs it was kind of hard to fit this whole meal in there but, uh... Alright guys, so I want to go through a little bit of a breakdown of what I've eaten today so far. So far we went to uh, Chick-fil-A this morning. I got this sausage, I think I'll have it in my, my fitness pal, but I think it was a sausage, egg, and an English muffin. Um, right now... We're about to eat. Again, if you guys want to have low calorie nacho alternatives, I used, let me show you guys where I put them. I used these different kind of corn tortillas, chips. Um, they're multi-grain with flaxseed. So you get more fiber out of these and they're lower carb, lower fat. So if you want to use those, and then you can also use, you know, I got steak, peppers, black beans, pico de gallo. I'm about to put some cheese, I have cheese on here. Got all my calories. Calories for this will be right there. If you guys have the calories, there's steak in here. And then again, not the most nutri nutrient dense foods. Again, take a multivitamin if you're gonna have to eat on the go. We have a, a Rice crispy right here. They're about to eat and uh, yeah guys, so this is gonna be technically meal number one. Well, meal number two today and then we're gonna hit the gym. I don't like to usually eat this much, but I am hungry. It's almost two o'clock. I need I need a hustle because I need to leave. Also guys, another thing that I like to use ugh, is this Red Hots Buffalo. It goes great on these nachos. Well, not actual nachos, but. These chips are almost nearly as good as nacho. There's a lot less calories. Mmm. That's some good stuff.
All right, guys, last thing before pre-workout fuel is going to be a Rice Krispie Treat. 90 calories total. That's it for meal number one. Calories will be right there. I ended up preferring to put most of my calories at the end of the day. I did have a little bit before calories before my workout, but I always prefer eating all my like carbs, protein, all those stuff at night. I don't know why, but I, I typically like eating later at night. So I end up having something special for night time. <laughs> Just like their attention It's written all over your face I don't wanna play All right guys, and welcome to dinner. So we got right now here a mod's pizza. I forgot the, the name of this one. I think it's, which one is this? It was only 810 calories and I fit it in here perfectly. Now do I recommend people eating a two, 810 calories? Dylan James Pizza. Do you ever recommend people eating this? If you got the calories, you got the carbs, the fats, the protein, go for it guys. I also have right over here a Caesar salad with Dijon mustard which has zero calories. So let's get it. The, the salad doesn't have zero calories. So yeah, we got a Dylan James Pizza guys. I'm very excited for this. Look at that. It's actually really good. Black coat. Now you see, I was gonna try to go to Domino's, but I couldn't fit one in my calories. Smog was the next best choice. Look at this slice. Oh yeah guys, and this is the mod size pizza. Mm. Left, left slice. <laughs> also a little bit if you guys are wondering about time. It's currently 10.15. I like to push my calories later in the day. I just prefer to have them. Not to say that it affected my workout. But yeah, pretty much that's the way I like to do it. And then we got a Caesar salad with some Dijon mustard. And here again, zero calories with the Dijon mustard. Just a, a big old chicken breast in the middle. Now I have this from HEB. Pre made. Nice and fast. I didn't want to make a salad. No, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Dijon mustard, but for zero calories, you really can't beat it. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this salad up, guys. And I'm gonna take you through dessert. So when it came to dinner, I ended up getting Mods Pizza. I've never actually had this this one from Mods. Uh, this Dylan, whatever, I forget the name of it, but it was actually really good. It had tomatoes, uh, some like basil, a whole bunch of different other stuff. And it only came out to be about 800 calories for the 11 inch Mod Pizza with the Caesar salad from HEB with the chicken here. Loaded up on protein. And then for dessert, we end up having. All right guys, so last thing, like I said, I wanna have something kind of sweet. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine oatmeal. This is the quick oats. I like to go with the quick oats. The Reese's cup. One serving of PB2. This is gonna be the peanut butter chocolate cocoa. Cinnamon, and then I have some sugar-free syrup that I'm gonna add on to this. Guys, last thing of the day. Let's make it. Let's put it together. Let's call this the end of the day. But I don't really have a kid. You don't have to pitch you just like they're a is this part of an act just to keep your image intact if you think that's right. Alright guys, so the last thing we got is this like Reese peanut butter oatmeal that looks really good. Lots of carbs, lots of, um, you know, I put some uh, sugar-free syrup in here that's maple flavored. So, not the best looking thing, but honestly, this is like such a good thing if you need like your sweet, sweet tooth curbed. But yeah, guys, this isn't bad. I usually, I like to save my oatmeal for my, my day if I can't eat in the morning, if I'm busy, or if I'm at work. Or, you know, doing my thing. But, um. That's really good. Throw like a Reese's, guys, next time in your oatmeal. Make it healthier. Reese's oatmeal, baby. Rice Krispies are my go to, too. Rice Krispie treats. I like it if it fits macros, man. Fits my lifestyle. You know, I'm on the go. Finishing out this cheat day at 11, or cheat day. Sorry, my brain. Finishing out this full day of eating with that amount of calories, literally right at 11 o'clock. Calories, carbs, macros. I mean, about 2,800 calories, losing weight pretty good. Doing pretty much six, seven days of strength. And progress is going good, guys. So, yes, I finished off the day with oatmeal. Just a big fan of uh, putting my oatmeal last for dessert. So, and I like to mix in, like if you're having that sweet craving, throw in a Reese, or Reese's, however you say it. Again, I'm the worst at saying that word, but uh, <laughs> add some Reese's in it. And uh, yeah, you can throw some PB2. That's what I did in with it with the Reese's. PB2 is just pretty much like a low calorie powder. It's kind of tastes like peanut butter, not really but uh, it was chocolate, chocolate cocoa. And uh, that's what I did, called it a day, full day of eating. This is what you guys have been requesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you guys wanna see some more full day of eatings, I do enjoy filming the full day of eatings when I'm not doing all the crazy madness cheap days. If you guys wanna check out the new merchandise, it is in my Teespring account down below, having the cheat day shirts. Uh, also, if you want to start investing, you can actually get five dollars, five dollars put in. So when you put your first investment in the app below, it's called Acorns. I've been using it for I think over a month and a half, maybe two months. And uh, again, you just invest. If you don't know about investing, it's super simple to set up, and they'll actually show you. Like if you're conservative, if you're someone who's like risky business person. Me, I'm a conservative, so I use the conservative part on Acorns. Download it, you get $5 automatically for signing up when you first invest whatever you want to invest in there. So feel free to download the app, guys. The link's below. And uh, again, I'm going to catch you guys in the next cheat day. I'm going to be posting more content like this. Post in the comments below what you are eating for breakfast while you watch this video. If you're not, put fasting. Okay? Catch you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe if you're new. Peace out. Hope you guys enjoyed my last shirt. And I'll see you guys in the next video.